and whatever you decide to utilize to get out into the open space to observe nature the freshness of the day on your face the wind in your hair you can feel the moisture on your skin it makes you feel alive it brings you joy like you never realized before you may have thought yes I just like to be out in the open but why for what reason what resonates with you out there in the open air breathing the oxygen there seems to be more energy where there are trees and grass and breeze allow it all to wash over you now like sinking down into that lovely comfortable warm bath and feeling the silky smoothness of the water all over your body you are alive and all of your senses now increase more sensitive you learn to enjoy your new sensitivity you feel yourself breathe right now in and out and in and out feeling joy in every easy breath in and every gentle breath out because you know there are people right here right now on the planet struggling to breathe and you do it so easily so elegantly so deeply yes all you have to do is breathe each easy breath in and every gentle breath out reminds you of the remarkable engineering of this body you inhabit you just call it breathing and yet the diaphragm has to move the lungs have to expand the air has to go into the lungs the blood has to go into the lungs to pick up the life-giving oxygen that life-giving oxygen has to be circulated to every muscle nerve and fiber of your being you are pulsating with life just like that field and the breeze and the sun and the rain all of the elements are within you life is good and many people from time to time forget they have a body and go around like a big brain like a big brain on little feet as if there is nothing in between and now you know and appreciate every muscle every cell every breath one of the pure joys of life is to combine with another touch union feeling and so without the other sometimes we feel a little alone though to have happiness to remember how relaxed and comfortable you can be with yourself now I want you to know as you are holding your own hand that you are always there for you people come and go in and out of your life people come and go in and out of your day some people you'll see every day so you are happier with yourself now as you hold your own hand and you take yourself with you everywhere with your fingers interlaced as they are in this very particular way 
reminds you that any time you do this, consciously or unconsciously, you hold your own hand and you are always there for you. And you are combining that happy hand with the miserable hand and finding the place in between. Sometimes you'll be more happy, sometimes more miserable, though you know the difference between them and the combination. And the work that you've done today means you are forever changed. Forever changed. I want you to notice a control now, as if you have a control panel in your mind. And find the control. Maybe it's a dial, maybe it's a gauge, I don't know, you do. Find the control that controls happiness. If it's a dial, there'll be numbers around it, of course. Notice what the colour is, notice how the numbers stand out from the dial and the numbers go from zero all the way to ten and as you started this process you were at about a four or a five of the happiness scale because on the one side it says happier on the other side it says depressed and you know those two extremes very well you were at a four or a five and I want you to notice where you are right now and, as I count, you will experience, hear the words, experience what it's like to be zero, depressed, you can remember all that stuff, and what it's like to be a ten, happier, happier, don't know why, don't care how, I'm just happier, I'm just happier. So, let's go. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, woo, ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. Zero. One, two, three, four, five, six, etc. You know now that at each moment of every day you are on one of these numbers and you have control. You've always had control, you just weren't aware. Certain factors would influence where you are on that control. And you begin to realise from this moment on what brings you joy, what takes you further up the scale. You also begin to realise even if it's just a thought, you could go cascading down that scale as well. You know that as we now have brought your attention to that dial, to that control, for the next 24 hours you will be aware of where you are on that dial what number you're at and where you would like to be and in that conscious awareness of it you'll become curious you don't need to know exactly what's affected it you do need to know what you can discover that would raise you up a notch some satisfaction with a job well done some curiosity as to how to do something. Some relief when some stress has passed. Or even just being able to sink down into the chair and let it all go. Just to do nothing. Nothing. Not a thing. That wave of relief. Ah. <sighs> Can bring such happiness. Time for you to experiment in the next 24 hours with how you feel on that scale and to recognize that you are always there for you whether you are alone or with others. You choose 
choose. Recognize and then choose to go up the scale. Realizing more and more what brings you joy. Happier. More relaxed. More relief. And you recognize now you don't need to experience the extremes of stress and worry and repeating all patterns just in order to feel the relief that comes afterwards. You know that when you don't want to do something, it's because you don't want to do something. Scaredness, being frightened, doesn't come into it anymore. You can rehearse how you're going to handle situations. That's what you used to call worry. That's what you used to call overthinking. You rehearse how you'd like things to go and if you really don't want to engage and go there, you don't. You reconnected with choice. You reach out for that which you want, let go of that that is no longer useful and you re-engage with that which you enjoy. Reconnected now, knowing that that scale is in place, you're going to experiment and notice from time to time. You know as people talk when they're thinking are they in a dream or awake and they pinch themselves to try and see Am I asleep or am I awake? You're going to reckon from time to time, hmm, where am I on the scale? The scale of depressed to happier. Because in order to have more happy, I need to know how to turn it up a notch. When I turn it up, as I'm turning it up, maybe I'll find a way of locking it in locking it in so I'm never less than a four or a five because I recognize how I'm going down. I'm not going there anymore. I'm going up the scale. Time to experiment. Time to enjoy. It may not be that you have to do something physically. Maybe sometimes you do though you can remember that softness, that ease, that comfort melting through you as you allow the relief to come. And sometimes you're going to experiment with being spontaneous, doing something different, knowing that oh, you have to do certain things makes you realize doing things you want to do brings more enjoyment, maybe. I don't know. You do. This will continue into a dream. When you go to sleep tonight in the safety and privacy of your own mind, these processes will continue as you, with confidence, confidence, that thing you employ in the face of risk, with confidence, with curiosity, with complexity, with creativity, you muse on these things. That's not overthinking. That is thinking things through. That is attaching to that which brings you joy, which is your true work at the moment. When you're full of joy, when you're full of excitement, when you want to do stuff, people want to be with you. Things are different. Begins with being happier within yourself, as was your wish when we began happier. It's like a muscle you need to exercise right now. Any time you interlace your fingers as you're doing right now, you'll feel that sense of comfort and ease and relief and that in itself can make you happier. Time to experiment. Within the next 24 hours, that's what you'll be doing. You'll certainly be more relaxed, more free. Things will be different and you will 
notice and you will experiment and you will relax and you will enjoy more reconnecting with experiences where you have really felt happier even if it's just thinking about them right now out in nature free 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 imagine the word in front of you now as you kind of write it in light and pick your favorite color the words free and freedom free and freedom freedom is the domain of the free you have freedom in your own house you have freedom in your own body you can do whatever you like with it it's your body your freedom in your own thoughts you are free you are free to be as miserable as you can make yourself and free to be as happy as you choose to be though it may take a little work in recognizing what brings you joy on that scale of zero to ten maybe it's going to take some seeking out of things that you enjoy that maybe others wouldn't things that make you laugh make you relax bring you relief you more happier within yourself I'm going to take one minute of clock time now for you to imagine in your way the next 24 hours you're going to see what you would see, hear what you would hear, smell what you would smell, taste what you would taste, and feel all of your feelings. It's easy for you to do, as you do it every night when you sleep. One minute of clock time then, for you to experience the next 24 hours with more joy, with more happiness, certainly above a four or a five on that scale. And noticing how you feel inside, viscerally, what happens in your body, how you feel lifted, more energy, happier, freer, freedom, finally. You're going to experience, within this one minute of clock time, what being happier feels like. Taking joy in the little things, noticing, improving, adapting, overcoming that one minute of clock time where you experience the next 24 hours with more joy, more alertness, more energy, more happiness begins now.
Okay, that one minute of clock time has now come to an end, where you had that period of unconscious experimentation with being happier within yourself. In a moment, you will open your eyes, your eyes will open, as if you've had a long and peaceful sleep. You may remember everything I've said, forget anything I've said, forget to remember the bit you forgot to remember when it, you remember to forget it, it doesn't matter. All that matters now is that you open your eyes in a moment with a stretch and a smile, back to full conscious awareness, feeling good, feeling better than before. Remember, that is the key. Feeling good and feeling better than before. Feeling good, feeling free, feeling better than before. Free, free, free. In a moment then, on my count, coming up to full conscious awareness, Tonight you're going to have the best night's sleep you ever have as these processes continue within you. Though for now, you will wake up with a bright, delightful alertness, feeling good, feeling better than before. One, rising up like a beautiful bubble to the surface of the sea. Two, Feeling balanced and perfect, perfect and balanced, balanced in every way. Three, coming up further now, calmly confident and completely relaxed. Four, these good feelings stay with you now and forever. And five, open your eyes, stretch and smile. Welcome back.